let's look at the character of Magwitch. Now, Abel Magwitch is an escaped convict who, at the beginning of the story, essentially forces Pip as a young boy to find him food because he's starving after he tried to run away from prison. But also, he offers him a file, so he has to locate a file for Magwitch in order to try and secure his escape. However, he is ultimately recaptured and he disappears for the rest of the story because he is sent off to Australia as a convict. However, we then learned that whilst he was in Australia, he made a fortune, especially as a farmer, and he was really inspired by Pip's kindness towards him. And thus, he is the person that builds this fortune and then offers this fortune to Pip initially as an anonymous uh, donor, but then he later reveals himself to Pip many, many years later when he's much older. We find that he also has a very dramatic change. Firstly, he dramatically changed from being a convict, a very lowly convict, to a wealthy man. But secondly, he has a dramatic change from being a very terrifying, scary convict initially to being an old, kindly man. So not too kindly though, because even when he's much older, he still has a massive edge to him. And of course, he does change his name when he meets Pip to Provis. Uh, ultimately, he does meet a very sad ending when he is captured finally and executed. However, we learn that he has shifted and changed dramatically. And most importantly, he is Estella's father too. Now, when it comes to writing about Magwitch's character, he is a very important and interesting character in the novel Great Expectations. There are lots of key quotations you need to be aware of, and I've selected the most relevant ones, which I've highlighted all the word level analysis to do when writing about his character, either for your course or your exams. So let's look at these uh, quotations, and they are a mix of how others describing, primarily how Pip describes him, and of course, what he says within the novel. Now, the first quotation is how he is described in the opening uh, of the novel when Pip encounters him. Uh, we learn that he is a man started up from, uh, from among the graves at the side of the church porch. So when Pip first encounters him, he was hiding, he jumps up, he's in the graves with a narrow churchyard. And of course, he is the person that forces Pip to go and find food for him and also find him a file that he really needs to secure his escape. Now, the word love analysis you want to do here, which, uh, and this is uh, in terms of highlighting just how terrifying Magwitch looks, is firstly, the juxtaposition of graves and the word church, okay? So they're not necessarily direct opposites, but the idea of graves is to do with death, um, horror, terror, and this is a contrast to church, which is associated with uh, purity, okay? So of course here what this does is it establishes Magwitch as a very terrifying convict, also a very cruel person, okay? Don't forget that he also terrified young little Pip, who only who just had to respond by doing what he wanted. The second quotation relating to his character is how he's described by Pip when he first sees him. He is a fearful man all in coarse grey with a great iron on his leg. So Pip obviously noticed that he has an iron on his leg. And of course, it's because he's an escaped convict. Now, the word love analysis you want to do here in the description of Magwitch at this stage in the novel, this is the early stage in the novel, is firstly the adjective fearful to show just how terrifying and how scary he looks. And also the alliteration of G in grey and great. And finally, the noun iron, which indicates to us as readers that he is a convict. He is a disreputable character. The other quotation to bear in mind with his character is when later on in the novel he becomes Provis, he goes off to Australia, makes a massive fortune, and he tells Pip, and he reveals himself to Pip later on as his benefactor. And he tells Pip, it weren't easy, Pip, for me to leave them parts, nor yet weren't safe, okay? So bear in mind that he speaks in a certain dialect that indicates that he has had no education nor formal training. This is shown in terms of word level analysis with the repetition of warrant twice here, so there as well as warrant safe. Of course, this means wasn't. And this shows that he didn't have an, a formal education. He comes from working class background. But equally, you want to focus on the verb leave, which is describing how difficult he found uh, his journey, leaving, um, escaping and so on, and then also building his fortune in order to help Pip. Also, Magwitch later says, it was a recompense to me, ellipsis, to know in secret that I was making a gentleman. So here we find that he has changed drastically. He uh, confesses to building this fortune primarily in order that Pip can benefit from his hard work, hard labor, because Pip helped him early on, okay? So we can see here, actually, this is where we see his kindly nature coming through. He's done something which is arguably very selfless, very altruistic. 
Now, as you can see here, he was very, very gratified to know that Pip was becoming a gentleman in high London society. And this is shown through the noun gentleman, but equally you want to focus on the pronouns me and I to focus on how uh, Magwitch was so inspired by the idea that he could help Pip so dramatically. The next quotation for his character is when he, we can see that he almost takes Pip on like a father would to a son. He states, look at here, Pip. I'm your second father. You're my son. More to me nor any son, right? So here he's basically saying, you're like a son to me, more than any other son, which obviously is a little bit ironic because he actually has a daughter who he hasn't uh, donated a massive uh, inheritance to. However, here we can see his, his, uh, his transformation again. He goes from being this convict who only cares about his own self-survival to somebody who cares about someone else to the extent that he almost wants to be a second father to Pip. He understands that Pip is also an orphan. Now, the word level analysis to do here with this quotation is firstly the imperative sentence, looky here, Pip, when he's talking to Pip, he's saying, look, Pip, you know, this is, I really see you as a son to me, okay? And also the other word love analysis to show how he feels very, very uh, paternal, loving towards Pip is the semantic field of family in father and son. And finally, the repetition of the noun son, which he repeats twice, which shows that he's almost trying to make amends for all his terrible bad deeds in the past by helping Pip, okay? So this is almost his way of seeking redemption as a character. So that's it when it comes to all the key quotations to bear in mind for Magwitch's character.